because my course is 13 modules, I think, each with um, three different sections underneath. And I've outlined pretty much the information that I want to put in it within my course and a few tasks or um, homework things for each module. Then maybe somebody could help me and just let me know whether or not that is something that I could charge a bit more for. Yeah, it's more about charging more is more about how attractive is the end result. It's less about what's actually in your program. Okay. Like imagine this, imagine you sign up for Course Creator Academy. Now we use your example. Imagine someone signs up to work with you and their goal is to lose 10 kilos and they, and you get them on the phone and you ask them is something that they want to do. And they say, yeah, I really want to lose 10 kilos. And you say, are you committed? And they say, yeah, I'm committed. And you say, okay, cool. So it's two grand. And you're like two grand to lose 10 kilos. Well, how quickly can I lose the weight? And you're like, well, you can get on the fast track program. It's only going to take you, let's say 10 days, like, mm -hmm. 10 kilos in 10 days for two grand. That's perfect. I have a wedding in 10 days. So let's, let's do it. Let's say they then pay you two grand and let's say inside your program, there's nothing, but they lose the 10 kilos in 10 days because they hopped on a zoom call with you or something. You gave them some awesome advice. They implemented it. They lost 10 kilos in 10 days. Does it matter that there's nothing in your program or does it matter that they lost the 10 kilos? It matters that they lost the 10 kilos. <laughs> no one cares what's actually in your program. What they care about is getting the result. In fact, yeah. the less stuff in your program, the better. Okay. We just want to make sure that they, they know how to get the result ASAP. Yeah. And so for your program, it's like you can have a lot of different bells and whistles. Sure. But that's not what they're paying for. They're paying to get the end result. And so it's not a matter of like, oh, can you review my course to see if it's worth two grand? All I'm going to be doing is reviewing your end result and seeing if that's worth the money. Okay. Nira, can you provide examples of modules and mini modules for weight loss course? Having troubles finding what modules work best. Here's what I have so far. Um, well, you're the boss, man. You're the, you're the, you're the guy. Uh, there's no right or wrong with this. Again, it's like what I said with Carla. It's like, ideally you have zero modules and people just sign up and they get the result. So if you're going to add modules, make sure they all contribute to them getting that end result as fast as possible. So how about this, bro? How about instead of putting together modules, how about you just create a step-by-step -step checklist for everything that they need to do in order to get the result? Okay. That, that was going to be my next question is how does that differ than the modules, I guess? Yeah. Um, Cause the modules kind of look like a checklist in itself. Yeah. So the checklist can easily be turned into modules. Like once you have the check, like for example, with our what now checklist, like we could say, okay, from numbers one to, I don't know, numbers one to 20, it's like the intro module. Right. And then from module numbers 21 to the 28 is like module two is like the foundation or something. Right. You can give them module names after, but really like with what you're at, just create a checklist of every single thing a person will need to do to get the result that they're looking for. Like if, like if I go start working with you right now, bro, and I was mm -hmm. pounds overweight, what would you have me do? First thing. All right, now here I am. I just paid you two grand. What now? Um, first, I'd have you commit to it um, completely. Um, put it put it here. Number one, commit to it by filling out this declaration form. And you create like a declaration form. And what, what now that I fill a declaration form now, what, what do I do? Then understand, um, I guess, the time commitment needed for like, for everything that's, for like the meal prep and the the exercise, the fitness. Okay, so how about you get me to fill in my calendar with... There you go. Yeah. Okay. So declared my commitment. I filled out my calendar. Now what? Go shopping. Where? What do I buy? Uh, go shopping at your local uh, Aldi and buy... So step, a... step three, come up with a list of the best local grocery stores. Okay. Step four. Put on some clothes, put on your shoes, get in the car, drive to the grocery store, right? In order, break this shit down. I don't see any of what mm. you said on this list right now already. I mean, right here, go shopping, I guess. But everything else prior to that is really important, right? So, so be, be, be as specific as possible and as detailed as possible with each sure, step. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. Specificity, bro. That's the helpful shit. Like, I was at the gym the other day, man, and uh, maybe a couple weeks ago. And there was this really, she must have been a model. It was like this really good looking girl there working out. And it was like, about, I was over there with a bunch of my friends. It was like five guys that are all like doing bench press together. And then we're thinking like, oh, what would we go and say to her? Like, how would we open up a conversation with her? Right. And then my one friend was like, oh, I know exactly what I'd say to her. And I was like, dude, what would you say to her? And he's like, oh, I, I, I can't tell you. It's a secret. I was like, bro, like I'll pay you like five bucks to tell me exactly what to say to her. If, if, it, if it works, right. I'm willing to pay for the exact script to know exactly what to say. That's the specificity. That's the power of specificity. Okay. You remember, uh, that, you remember when you practiced those phone calls a couple weeks ago? Yeah, I do. And do you remember it was like exact word for word, exact tone even? Right. And how helpful that was for people? So, yeah. So 
So if you just skipped over that and said, hey, yeah, just get on a call with people and get them in your program. <laughs> like, how helpful would that be? Not very. No. So if you say, oh, yeah, just go to the store and buy some shit. Like, bro, what store? What shit? How much? Mm-hmm. Right? I want to know these details so that I can get the result. In fact, how many calories should I be eating every day? It would be wise for you to put in there, like, how many calories per pound of body weight they should be eating. That way they can calculate for themselves how many calories they should be eating. And at what time of day should they eat those calories? Should I have them all first thing in the morning to rev up my metabolism? Or should I have them in the evening so I get the benefit of, like, intermittent fasting? Or should I, or should I graze throughout the day so that I'm always, you know, getting a little fix of food, you know? You got you to put in there, like, what time of day? This is what's, this is what's going to make your program, like, super valuable in people's eyes because you're going to be able to tell them, hey, look, not only did I tell you what to eat, but I tell you when to eat it and how much to eat and where to get it. And like, I take care of everything for you. Wow. I definitely need that.